have seen my Animal Crossing ASMR videos. I did a few of them, but got kind of overwhelmed building my island, but recently I got inspired and I've been working on it at least a little bit every day. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do an updated island tour type video. I know quite a few of you guys liked those videos, so. It's a very cute, relaxing game. A lot of the time, I'll listen to ASMR while I'm playing. And that is a lot of the time when I fall asleep. I will fall asleep playing Animal Crossing, listening to relaxing music or ASMR. But, um, yeah, maybe I will drop my friend code and we can be Nintendo Switch friends. All my friends on my Switch are from YouTube, which I don't know why, I just think it's really cool <laughs> to have my subscribers as friends on my video games and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm working on building a neighborhood right now for my island. And before I go to bed, I will take my dogs outside to go to the bathroom. I have to roll up their clothes if they're wearing any so they don't accidentally be on their clothes because it happens quite often. <laughs> and yeah, it's really nice weather out here. Sometimes I'll just leave the door open and let the cool air come in. And I always pick up my dog's poop. <laughs> and here's my little dog's mochi and link. I always give them a treat when they come back in. They love food. It is their favorite. They're so cute and I love them. And I cannot go to bed hungry so I always eat something before I go to sleep. And it's usually like 2 a.m. at this point usually. <laughs> These are some protein bars I get from Costco that I really love. They have 20 grams of protein and I think like one gram of sugar and they taste great. They're called pure protein bars. And I usually watch YouTube or Twitch. I'm really just addicted to YouTube. It's like the one social media that I can never delete. I actually just deleted a few apps today. I deleted Instagram and Snapchat. And Facebook and like Bumble, which I use for like meeting friends and stuff. And I just, I was just over it today. And so I deleted those, but I will never delete YouTube. I love it so much. And um, I spend just hours on YouTube every day. It's probably not the best thing for me. Um, but there's just so many entertaining videos or like can go on there and just get stuck watching recommended videos for hours. I know everyone's really into TikTok and stuff right now, but I just, I'll always just be addicted to YouTube. I've never been super into TikTok. But yeah, anyways, I was watching a review on the movie Dear Evan Hansen, which I've talked about before in a video, which that movie it was just like cringe to me. I didn't really enjoy it, honestly. It was kind of uncomfortable to watch. And this girl made a review of it and it was honestly funny. I was laughing a little bit. And I don't know, I like watching cringy videos, cringe compilations, that type of stuff. I don't know why it makes me feel like better about myself. Like I think of all the embarrassing things I've done in my life. And I see other people do embarrassing things and it makes me feel less alone, I guess. But it's also, like, funny to watch. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's some YouTube content I do enjoy. I'm not gonna lie. And here is me being happy that my protein bar was delicious. <laughs> and now I go to my bathroom and brush my I use this black charcoal toothpaste. I like it. I feel like my teeth never actually get whiter from whitening toothpaste though, which kind of annoys. 
annoys me. <laughs> and I just recently got this electric toothbrush, which I haven't had an electric toothbrush since I was a little kid. But like, I feel like it cleans my teeth very well, and it just like spins and cleans the crap out of them. And I really do love it. I got this toothbrush from Costco. And one thing I really do like about these toothbrushes is that um, they have a little vibration timer thing. So you brush each quadrant of your mouth for 30 seconds and it'll vibrate after 30 seconds. So you go to the next section of your mouth. And that's helped me a lot with like timing my brushing and things like that. Um, it's really great. And my mouth just feels so clean after I use this toothbrush. And I don't think I've ever really gone into detail on YouTube, but I have had some really bad dental history. Like, I've had five root canals. My front two teeth are like half fake. I had them chipped off when I was a kid. Um, I've had like a lot of stuff done in my mouth. I've had surgery to like reattach my lip to my gums. I don't know how to explain it. I'll go into detail maybe in another video, but yeah, I've put a lot of money into this mouth. And so, you know, it's got to look cute and I got to keep it clean. I went to the dentist for the first time in like seven years a few years back and that was when I had a lot of dental work and um, lots of cavities. I never really flossed and that's why I had so many cavities and issues. But anyways, yeah, there's a lot I could talk about as far as my dental history. <laughs> but now I make sure that my teeth are always in good condition and I floss every day. Which brings us to our next subject, which is this water flosser I got. It's called a water pick, or that's the brand at least. And so you just fill it up with water, and you select what pressure you want, and it shoots water through your teeth, and it cleans everything out, and it's supposed to be 80% more effective than traditional floss and I really love it it feels like less of a hassle than you know using traditional floss so I would recommend these if you guys um, don't really like flossing because this is a little more fun and I also have a permanent retainer on the bottom of my teeth on my lower teeth and this really helps you know clean out that area and next is my urology, my skincare routine, as you guys have heard me talk about previously. These are all the little bottles that they gave me. And we're going to start with the cleanser. I'm going to get my face nice and wet with some warm water. And just apply a little bit of this cleanser to my hands, rub it in, and massage it into my face and my cheeks and nose and everywhere. And just so you guys know, I used to have really bad acne, especially in like junior high, high school days, and I never knew like what cleansers to get and stuff like that. And my dad would take me to the store and he would just pick out a bunch of crap for me to use. And um, it didn't really work for a long time until I, you know, found a couple things that worked for me. And so, you know, if you're struggling with these types of things, I think urology could help you a lot and get a nice uh, system skincare system for your, you know, night and morning routines to really just help your acne or prevent breakouts and stuff like that. Alright, then I'm going to dry my face. And next is the custom formula. So, this is the thing that they make for you, the bottle they make for you when you uh, take your little skincare quiz and fill out everything. 
just love this one bottle and that's what my sister does she just buys this and you know she uses her own cleanser and moisturizer and stuff if that's something that you know you want to do and then next you use the moisturizer which like i said earlier this is my favorite moisturizer i've ever used it just feels so great um i've used other uh, brands of moisturizer and skin moisturizers for your face and this one just is the best in my opinion i really love it and it just makes my skin feel soft and it's everything <laughs> all right and last i get in bed and i read a little self-help book this one is called traumatized by katie morton who is actually a youtuber i just started it last night actually it talks about trauma and uh you know responses to trauma and things like that um which is something i've been trying to figure out a lot in my life lately like why do i act or react certain ways to you know certain situations or social settings um that can really affect me and i just finished a different book that it was all right it was a different self-help book um i really just like the beginning and the end the middle content was a little bit boring um but i like this one so far it's talking about um social media how it can affect you and um your thought process behind everything and your expectations and life and all these crazy things that you don't really think about because you know you're so invested in these things like social media and youtube and instagram and comparing yourself and hearing about all these crazy things happening in the world and it can really um change your perspective on things in a negative way which is something i never really realized until i started reading this but yeah i really want to start going to actual therapy my goal this year my new year's resolution was to get my mental health in check and books have helped me a lot but i think i really want to take the next step to going to an actual therapist and you know talking about my issues and my past traumas and um you know finding ways that i can help myself and live a better life because i feel like these things have prevented me from living a great life for so long anyways that's it for this nighttime routine i hope you guys liked it and i did want to shout out my patrons and channel members really fast thank you so much bad rumen mario jose well len solo plain b keys jimmy plazola halibut talon jeremiah johnson alistair robert johnson Addison, Jumpscare, Autumn Platero, and Black Vivi89. You guys are my top patrons and jail members, and I love you so much. Thank you. Thank